YouTube, what's good? Welcome back to the spaceship. Even though I'm downstairs in the living room. If you guys are unaware, my name is the letter C, DJ, producer, foodie. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, it's 2021, this is my first video of the new year. I just wanted to check in before it was too late. How many days can you say Happy New Year until? I don't know, but shout out to everyone that has new goals they're setting for themselves, New Year's resolution. I don't really do New Year resolutions, but I will say that this year, I wanna focus more on learning an instrument. I have a bass guitar, I have acoustic guitar, I have a uh, electric guitar, and I don't know how to play any of them. And that's sad. Please let me know what goals do you guys have in mind for yourself that you want to accomplish this year? Like, what do you want to get better at? It doesn't have to be music. It could be working out a little bit more or I don't know. But in this video, I want to talk about how to make your beat sound better, how to make your drum smack a little bit harder. I just got an email from Cymatics who I've made a video about before. They're coming out with a new plugin to make your drums hit harder. And we're gonna look into that today. I will tell you, I've been making music for a while. I have a lot of friends that are engineers and I picked up some tips along the way. So I'm gonna show you how to make your stuff sound a little bit better, especially if you're a beginner. These plugins are free. You wanna go get them. So I'm gonna drop the link in the comments. Make sure you go get it and let's see what happens. All right, let's get it. Okay, so this is my beat that I need to mix. I think I made it on the MPC. I'll play it for you real quick. It doesn't do much. All right, so as you see, it's not, it doesn't do too much. This is a little chill beat, nothing crazy, but we're gonna see if we can make it sound better and so we can make the drums bump as well. Uh, if you're listening on your phone, computer, put your headphones on right now if you can. If not, um, turn your volume all the way up, I guess. All right, so this is our kick, right? Solo it. That's how that sounds. Let's see what we do when we add the Cymax Diablo light. As you can see, what comes up, we got punch, we got clip, soft to hard, we got the input, the output, and the mix. The mix is already all the way up, 100% went. All right, so here we go. Ooh. Add some punch. Ooh, you hear that? Mm. So it's like, how obnoxious do I want my kick to be, right? And then we can have a clip with this. That's the hard clip, soft clip. Mm. More like a dull, stay warm. Mm. Doubt it, that's how it sounds. So as you can see, this will help you beef up um, your sounds, especially your drums, to make it uh, knock a little bit harder. If you're having trouble trying to figure out how to do that, I think this is a definitely a good investment because it's free. And it'll help you get your stuff knocking a little bit more. And especially if you're not really good at mixing or knowing how to do it properly, this can help you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the punch. Like that feels like it's hitting you in the face. I'm gonna leave that like that, right? And then I have an 808 in it. Mm -hmm. Let's add the Cymatics Diablo. Add some punch. Woo! So, like, now it's definitely punchier than. You hear that? Okay, you like that? Let's see. See, I like the soft clip on that because it, it feels like, uh, it's just. I 
like that. I'm not going to add too much punch because I want to leave room for the kick drum. The kick, I have a kick drum on this already. So like some people just like to use 808s by themselves. But I like my stuff to hit. So I need that kick drum in there. Um, let's play them together. See how it goes. Ooh. And then since we're uh, what I like to there's different ways you can do this, but I want to side chain. Personally, I like to side chain my kicks and my bases just because I want my kick to come out clear and hit at the same time and not be all muddy. So what I like to do is just add the side chain to it real quick. And there's different ways to side chain it. Ableton has a you know. Has it on the compressor, so it's just easier. Then we'll just put that uh right there. Because those two instruments, like their frequency is very, um, they're in a similar frequency, so they'll clash a lot. And they'll have your mix super muddy. That way I have it that way so you can hear the kick and it doesn't sound too crazy. So we got, we got this. I mean, we could be extra and just put the uh, Diablo on that too. I'm going to just go crazy. Just let's go crazy. Why not? Okay, yeah, now I'm gonna smack you in the face. Woo! That's hard. Man, y'all gonna get y'all gonna get hurt when this come on. Well hold up, let me make sure uh I'm gonna take some of the low end out of this. Okay, we got the snare. What else we got? Okay, so I got some percussion. And as you can hear, you hear it has so much noise in it. You hear that? If you got the headphones, you should definitely hear how much white noise is in that. So we're going to EQ that first. As you can see right here, there's mad low end in there, right? All right, so I had to take some of those bad frequencies out because it just sounds crazy. So like, as before, it sounds like that. Now, And it sounds a little muffled, so I'm going to bring back some of the frequencies and make it like sound a little bit closer to the way it sounded before. Let's see. And now it sounds much better than as opposed to. All right, so I'll, I'll live with that. I'll live with that. And then let's see what else we got right here.
I can say I'm doing this all this very quickly just to hurry up and show you guys kind of what I do. But like, cause this beat is like whatever to me. If it was a beat I really, really like cared about and I would I take my time. I made a few more adjustments and I didn't realize my camera wasn't recording anymore. And I'm just gonna show you how it sounded before and then after the adjustment so you can hear the difference. Here we go. I just gave you probably the most basic things I do when mixing. Now mixing is a long process. As you know, like engineering to me is a science. So making beats is one thing, but engineering it and making it sound good, making it sound great, that is an art in itself people don't realize. And that takes time, years and skills to learn. Um, you're gonna need the equipment, the plugins to make things sound CD or just professional quality. If you're a beginner, um, you know, it's gonna take time already to learn how to make music. And it's also gonna take you even more time to make it sound good. So don't stress it, just do what you can do. Also, I gotta shout out everyone that's been checking out the YouTube channel. Like I said before, I started in September. Um, well, I started out reposting in September to grow my channel. And I had like 120 or something like that. I'm almost at 300 subscribers. And I've only had my first video that I started with hit a thousand views. I think I did like five or six or seven maybe since then. And my last one is about to hit 2000. I wasn't sure if I was gonna hit a thousand again. It was taking forever, but it has, and I'm very thankful. And I just want to say thank you for everyone that's been pulling up, um, watching, subscribing, liking, whatever, just checking it out. That's another goal I have is to hit a thousand subscribers so I can get monetized. But I just really appreciate everyone. And we got a ways to go. I got a bunch more videos I'm working on that I gotta get for you guys. And I really appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. Like I said, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. If I can help you, I will. If I don't know the information, I'll try to find it for you if I have time. Stay tuned for the next video. I got a lot more coming. I'm gonna see y'all soon. Peace.